What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a limited event series animated show that I've been told to watch a ton. Since I joined YouTube and TikTok, I feel like every time this season comes around, I always have a lot of people recommending this to me. And I don't know why I put it off for so long, but I just felt really compelled to check it out from a lot of the still images that I saw. It just felt like this show really bleeds the fall and Halloween atmosphere. And so I was really excited to get an opportunity to check this out. And the limited event animated series that I'm gonna be discussing today is Over the Garden Wall. Over the Garden Wall is directed by Nate Cash. Two brothers, Wirt and Greg, find themselves lost in the unknown, a strange forest adrift in time. With the help of a wise old woodsman and a foul-tempered bluebird named Beatrice, Wirt and Greg must travel across this strange land in hope of finding their way home. Join them as they encounter surprises and obstacles on their journey through the wood. So, as I said, I was very excited to check this out. I know the director, Nate Cash, is credited in the tagline I read, but Patrick McHale, who worked on Adventure Time for Cartoon Network, is the one who I believed helped develop this story and bring it to life. He created the original idea for this story, uh, had a huge involvement, which I really loved, Adventure Time in my youth, which really surprises me that I've never watched this. And I will say this is not only one of my favorite Halloween time properties I've watched in a very long time, it's one of my favorite things I've watched the entire year. It is absolutely beautiful. It is, as far as animation goes, the story itself is beautiful. The humor is incredible. The musical choices are phenomenal. Just every intricate detail in this like 10 episode series where the episodes are only like 11 to 12 minutes in length. There's so much going on in each one of these small episodes that really is just incredible that these creators were able to pull this off in such a small time frame. By the time you watch the entire series, it's like you watch an hour and 30, hour and 40 minute movie. I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about it today. So as the description says, we're introduced to stepbrothers, Wirt and Greg. Wirt is actually played by Elijah Wood, which was really cool to discover. And in the first episode, they're kind of in the middle of these woods together. They're talking like, we got lost, we don't know where we are. And shortly after they meet this woodsman who tells them they're there's a beast in the woods and that they need to hide and so they go into the woodsman's house and this huge dog looking creature shows up and chases them around they find out shortly after that that is not the beast and the woodsman tells them that they need to make for another town to try to find their way home and on their way to the other town they run into a bluebird Beatrice played by Melanie Linsky voiced by Melanie Linsky who says hey I can help you get to where you need to go and so the entire series of episodes is these two stepbrothers who don't know how they got to where they are, how they got lost in this place, trying to figure out how to get back to their home and the strange things that they encounter along the way on their journey. And we also figure out more about Beatrice's character and figure out how she can talk. She's a talking bluebird. And I was just completely and totally immersed from the very first frame. This is some of the most beautiful animation I've seen in like a television limited series. It just bleeds that fall atmosphere. The colors in this are so vivid. There are moments where the animation, especially like the backdrops, look so hyper realistic. It's a very, very impressive. There's a sequence at the beginning of the second episode where they're entering the town of Pottsfield. You really just feel fall all around you from every shot. And when they get to the town, they're introduced to these people that all look like pumpkins. And so there's a lot of cool little details like that throughout the show. And it is very fantastical, which is something that I really appreciate. But what I really love about the show is how dramatic it gets and how we really at the core are seeing the relationship between these two stepbrothers who um, Wirt is obviously the older brother. He, I think they say he's like a junior or senior in high school. Greg is obviously much younger. Greg is this inquisitive young kid who just wants to experience life. He's just filled with joy. He doesn't let a lot get to him, which is what adds a lot of charm to his character. He was probably one of my favorite characters 
in the entire show. He's just so silly and over the top, and his dialogue delivery is fantastic. He sings these songs throughout the show that are incredible. And Elijah Wood's character, Wirt, is like the moody, angsty teenager who wallowing in self-pity because he's upset because he wanted to ask this girl out and wanted to date her. And the, the way that he went about it was very clunky. He didn't do a great job. And so he's just kind of always depressed in every episode, and it's pretty funny to watch. So those two contrasting personalities are really great, and it really makes their dialogue hilarious because Wirt obviously wants to get home, but he's very apathetic, and so that's a really interesting uh, set of character traits that keeps you immersed while you're watching. And Melanie Linsky, who plays uh, Beatrice the Bluebird, does a fantastic job. And throughout the, the string of episodes, you're consistently questioning what her intentions are and what she is trying to do and is she really authentically trying to help these kids. And you get an incredible array of voice actors in this. Tim Curry shows up in one of the episodes. Christopher Lloyd plays a recur recurring character. There's a really fantastic array of voice actors in this. I was so impressed with the soundtrack because there's a lot of amazing original music, both in instrumental and with vocal performances that sometimes add comedy, sometimes add drama, sometimes are essentially directly telling you as an audience member what is going on at that very moment. And I've been listening to the soundtrack nonstop since I watched it because of just how beautifully composed the music is. It's very simple, but it's also very immersive and it feels very atmospheric to that fall aesthetic that the show is going for, which is something I can really appreciate. I don't want to go into too much detail if you've never seen this before because where the show goes is very fascinating and thought-provoking and really dives into some territory that I was not expecting. And that's something I really appreciate. And I think what's interesting is how jarring the first episode is, kind of just dropping you into this world and saying, be on this adventure with these characters and just accept whatever is going to be thrown at you. And I think that makes the journey all the more exciting because you're just kind of thrown into there and discovering things episode by episode until you get to the last two episodes that are revealing of virtually everything that is going on to where uh, it adds a lot of themes and you kind of think about things that were said in original episodes by characters or characters that you've seen and their motivations. And it really, the last two episodes of this show just really kind of send your mind spinning about things that you've watched in the previous eight episodes. And I think the thought there is just incredible. And I appreciate the creators of the show for making something so thought provoking and compelling that could have been a lot more simple if they wanted it to be. It could have just been this crazy series of adventures with these two brothers, but it becomes something much deeper, especially when it comes to the character of the beast who is constantly references as stealing people's souls and turning them into trees. The Wood is grinded up for oil and that's so dark and sinister and I love the way the beast looks when he's shown you really just see kind of a dark silhouette with these piercing eyes that almost just look like a flashlight coming at you it's just completely bright white staring at you and and being in the middle of that dark silhouette it's really jarring and I think that the design and the thought behind that design is really incredible. And I just absolutely adored this story. I think there's so much to praise about it. And like I said, I would talk about the ending, but I really don't want to get into that if you've never seen it. It came out in 2014. It's streaming on Hulu right now. And I would highly recommend if you've never seen this before, watch it before Halloween. It is perfect for that atmosphere. I've already rewatched it a second time since I watched it the first time because of how much I loved it and I can't wait to revisit it many more times in the years to come. So have you seen Over the Garden Wall? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. I think this series is absolutely perfect. I have no qualms with it whatsoever and I cannot wait to watch it again. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.